Rangers lately. I heard Kylo Ren destroyed the one over in D Sector. If you ask me, who's ever in charge of this place should be transferred to Hoth. Uh. <laughs> what? She heard us? Yeah, I think she heard us. At least we blend in for once. <gasps> so let's take a look at uh, all the new technique that we have in Unreal Engine. So we have the new uh, texture on Unreal Light that help us to shape the light. So we use an HDR image to actually texture the light. And then now we have also ray traced area light shadow. So as you can see, when you change the size of the light, the, size, the, the, the penumbra of the shadow uh, looks different. It's a lot softer. And everything is, of course, uh, rendered in real time and fully dynamic. So we also retrace the ambient occlusion, so that helps to ground the, the character a lot more. And then the best way to show uh, ray tracing is actually to show uh, ray trace reflection. So Phasma is probably the best character for that. And as you can see, the environment is uh, updating in the reflection. We also improve the, the depth of field, so we call it the cinematic depth of field. Again, the, the environment updating the, in, the, in, in the torso, as you can see. And then NVIDIA has been working on a lot of uh, de denoising algorithm, so now we can afford some sort of a glossy reflection. And it's great to see that uh, you can uh, have some interactive uh, reflection. You can see FASMA and the uh, Stormtrooper in the elevator in the reflection in the chrome sphere. So with all that put together, we decided to, to create a smaller piece of cinematic with that. What's the story with all the elevators lately? I heard Kylo Ren destroyed the one over in D Sector. If you ask me, who's ever in charge of this place should be transferred to Hoth. Uh, what? what? So to talk about that, uh, I'm, I would like to introduce Ignacio, who's going to talk a bit more about the techniques. Thank you, Jerome. 